Hello and welcome to the series of modules that will help you with creating a basic project file in Converge Pro 2 console. So while in Windows, go to the Converge Pro console icon. When you double click that, then that will bring up the software. Make sure you are on the latest software available at the time. So if you go to help and about, you will see what version you're on. I am currently on 5.0.18.0 as of the date of this recording, but just make sure you're on the most recent software that is available. Now to start a basic project, I can go to File, I can hit New, or you can just hit the New icon that's at the top and hit New. This will bring up a project start where you can say which particular mixer do I want to put in this first room. First of all, we want to call it something. So in this case, we'll just call it Tutorial and if I hit space, notice what happens. You will get a red box. You cannot space within this software. You have to underscore tutorial, and I'll just call it exercise, just to kind of get started with something. In this case, I am going to use my first mixer is going to be a 128VD, and I'll use one of those and just hit OK. So notice you'll get tutorial exercise. You have a project properties. These you don't necessarily have to do, but they come in handy sometimes where you could say installed by and hit add and then say maybe programmed by and add that. And if I hit OK, you will now have these information here and you can fill in the blanks. So I am installing and programming this. That's me. Then I can also go to notes. And in this case, you could say, well, I updated to uh, version 5. If I did that today, I could actually say, okay, I did that. It'll give you a time date stamp when you actually made that choice. So I'm going to break this out in little small sections. This first one, if we go to the stack as we work our way down the list here, if I go to the stack of products, this first one is only this one mixer and it has a 128VD. But I can go to settings and change the name of this. Right now it just says name 1. If I added another mixer, it would be name 2 and 3 and 4. But in this case here, on the C-Link devices will be this first one, and I'm just going to call him a 128BD. And maybe I'll go ahead and say that he is in room A. So I can maybe at least keep up with which one he is actually putting mics for that particular room, if that's what I'm trying to do. Again, trying to keep it basic. And if I close that, you will see you have the 128 in your settings and other sections there. We'll go into all rest of these in the next few modules.